Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning, night, noon, wherever you are in this world. Praise God and praise God. Hallelujah. And if you really look at my title, my title says that New World Order is almost here. Choose this day whom you may serve. Go ahead, press tag and press share. Um, the Lord has been really, really Oh my God, just really showing me so many things was happening in today's society. And I want to go ahead and start with Joshua 24, 15. Praise God. Praise God. Good morning, noon, night, wherever you are in the world. Praise God. All right, let me start off with Joshua 24, 15. And I always use the King James Version. I guess that's the most, um, the nearest one because they, they've altered everything. Okay, Joshua 24, 15 says, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Ammonites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Praise God. And that was Joshua twenty four fifteen, And that was the word of God. I'm going to make this straight to the point. I don't know how else to do it, but straight and transparent like I always do. Okay, so. I know you guys don't believe it, but all you got to do is just watch these people. The plans are almost there, you guys, every day. Let me let me go ahead and just tell you the visions that I've seen since what? Oh, my God, 2009, 10. I saw it to where when martial law and the gun law dropped that people could not take what was going on. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's hard to rebuke God, show you, but people were literally killing themselves because they could not take what was getting ready to happen, which I rebuke. But hey, God did show it. I, I need you guys to understand something. The world is sitting up there fooling people, you know, like success is everything about it. You know, branding yourself, making the money, doing this. Can I tell you something? When New World Order there's not even going to be any money. It's going to be a cashless society. You're going to you're gonna need gold or silver. So if anybody have any sense, they should be getting some gold and silver in, at this moment. Now, hold on. You got to understand the market of beasts is coming to where that's why it's going to be a cashless society. You're not going to be able to sell, buy, or do anything without the mark. You and I both know, and if you don't know, I'm telling you, if you take the mark, you cannot enter into heaven. I'm sorry, you can't. And a lot of people don't want to hear this because it's like, oh my God, there she go, doom and gloom. No, let me tell you something. This stuff is coming. And God says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. It's like people don't care these days. It's like, you know what, I'm going to have fun. to, to I'm going to ride the, the, the wheels off that thing. What, what you going to do after the wheels fall off? What you going to do when reality actually step in? Let me tell you something. They're not giving money like they used to, not even on jobs. Everybody's going through some kind of something, some kind of test, trial, or whatever the case may be. My brothers and sisters, this is our job, the ones that are called. And to be honest with you, we all have a mandate. It's just that some answer, the Bible says many are called and few is chosen. Some don't even want to, oh, look, I'm not ready to do this, Lord. I want to live my life. Well, guess what? It's going to come to a time where, honey, you're going to wish you would have did what God told you to do because it's coming. It, it, thank you, Lord. I hear you. We are living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, and you don't have to believe me. Just keep living. We are living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah to where people are falling away from God. I'm looking at it every day. I'm looking at it even in the mainstream, Hollywood, even in church. People don't want to hear nothing about God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me, I'm going to tell you the whole plan of the enemy. He's ushering in the Antichrist. He is preparing the world for the Antichrist. They're going to crash the market. They're going to crash the economic system. They say they're going to bring America to their knees. I actually heard that. I heard that. I heard them. Let me tell you something. They got a chamber. They got several chambers in the United States and some in Europe and some in Paris to where they go underground. And it's a big room. And they talk about how they're going to bring America to their knees. I'm not playing. And hold on. This ain't going to be no black and white thing, baby. Because everybody that's not with the elite, you are going to be in a FEMA camp or you're going to be arrested to your home. Now, the best way I can tell you is if you have Netflix, go and look at the uh, movie Colony because that's how it's going to be. Drones going to be police. Y'all don't even, I'm telling you, it's going to be so much stuff. 
And so what am I doing this live for? Because God keeps telling me, Deanna, warn them. Warn them to get closer to me. Warn them to stop playing. And you know what hurts my heart? The gospel community. We got preachers that are on the down low. I'm about to go in tonight. Hallelujah. This morning, it really don't even matter. You sitting up there playing and you you don't even know whether you want to be gay or bisexual. I'm, I'm going here. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. And I'm not even playing. I'm not holding back no, no more. Hallelujah. I know for a fact, did you understand when I was in Hollywood, I heard things I shouldn't have. And I saw things I shouldn't have. That's why they don't like me. Cause they know, I know. And to be honest with you, I, I'm going here. I'm going to be very transparent. I almost did it. I almost became one of them. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, I ain't going to play with this thing. I ain't going to just tell on them. I'm going to tell on myself. I did some things, y'all. I ain't going to lie. So if it ever come out whether I'm alive or dead, I did some things. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I can't lie to you. But I'm going to tell you what happened. Hallelujah to his name. I had enough God in me that my grandmother and my mother put in me. Oh, come on, somebody. Because I was doing some things because I, I thought I wanted to be, you know, a, a star, a, a, a famous pastor because they was grooming me. Oh, Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And let me tell you what happened. God gave me that dream. I'll never forget that night. I can't, it was a dream. And it was almost like it was so real, y'all. And I heard God say, Deanna, you want this or you want that? He said, Deanna, you want that fame? He said, but this is what it's going to cost you. And when I woke up that morning, I had tears in my eyes. And i never forget. I said, God, I repent. I said, I repent. Because you see, I'm not going to lie about nothing. When I got to Hollywood, I lost my mind. I couldn't handle it. It's a spirit in, lo in Los Angeles. Angeles. Y'all can see what, notice what it says, Los Angeles. I truly believe that that's one of the portals for the Los Angeles because them stars, they was acting like they scared. Understand what God told me. God said that the devil have showed themselves to some of them and that's why they're scared because they haven't seen God, but they've seen the face of the devil. Y'all think it's a game, huh? The devil is here. And, and I, I'm telling you, I got in with the right people, but I couldn't sell my soul, y'all. I couldn't do it, but now I can't say I didn't do some things because I'm telling y'all I did. And I repented and I said, God, and I never forget what God said. He said, he said, everything that you accumulate and you know what you've done. He said, now you got to come down and you and, and lose everything because you don't understand whatever you attach to, whatever you did to get what you got, you got to come down and you got to repent. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? I lost everything and I've never recovered everything. And that's fine with me because I have to be honest with you. Hallelujah. I got closer to my God. Yeah, I lost everything. I lost friends. They talked about me. Oh, they put the word out on me that I was rebellious. I'm talking about the ones on the low, low. They know I know what they do. Oh, come on, somebody, because I did some things with them. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. Don't play with me. But I thank God that he's told me, say, choose this day. Just like I'm telling y'all what he say, choose this day. And I chose God. And I thank God I did. No, I don't have all what I used to have. And no, I don't all have the all high flute friends and all that. But I got Jesus, y'all. Not saying I'm perfect. Not saying you have to be. God just wants your best. Hallelujah. He said, give me your best. Hallelujah. Because you give that best on your job. You give that best to your husband. You give that best to your wife. You give that best to your boyfriend. You give that. Oh, y'all get the drift what I'm saying. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you something. It's not worth it. And I know that some of you are you, you, you under that spell, that arrogant spell. You're under that spell of that money. They, they they got some apostles on Facebook. I'm looking at them, and I know what they're doing behind closed doors, and they're just fooling people. And I already told some of them, I said, God say, stop lying. God say, stop doing what you're doing. I'm telling y'all, when them hammers going to fall, notice I said hammers. Because when this stuff break. When martial law come, when new world order come, and it actually is already here, but when they really just shut down, why y'all think they got so much construction all over the world, all over the United States? Y'all got construction in your city, huh? I'm telling you, there are going to be checkpoints if you got the mark of the beast. Y'all think I'm playing. Boy, 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 I wish to God I was lying. Because when this stuff going to really come out, that's the, that's when most people going to believe it. But I pray it don't be too late. I ain't going to be able to get on here and tell y'all because they're going to shut all that down. So God says, spare and cry, cry loud. And that's what I'm doing. I don't care who don't believe me. You, you ain't got to worry about it. But I do charge each one of you that are listening. Remember what I say. You ain't got to believe me now. But just remember what I say because you're going to need to. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, I'm going here. See, I already know what they got planned for me. When all this stuff starts, I'm one of the first ones they come and get. That's why I ain't scared. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Oh, yeah, because you see, if you know some things, you're not supposed to say no things. So I already know they're mad at me. I really don't care. Because guess what? <laughs> I'm going to be with my Lord. And I know there ain't nobody stopping that. Hallelujah to his name. Nobody playing. So it's not about no doom and gloom. It's about prepare yourself. 
Prepare yourself. I didn't told y'all get some canned goods. I didn't told y'all get some water. Y'all sitting up there just buying these houses. Y'all buy. Y'all better. Y'all better downsize. Y'all better downsize. This stuff coming. They hate America. We talking about the Illuminati. Let me tell you something. These are the true descendants of Cain. They hate God. They hate Christians. And let me tell you how they doing it. You notice, know and I, I want y'all to know something. I want to do a disclaimer. I love everybody. I love everybody. Understand me. But I can't get down when you with your sinning. It don't matter if you're a family, a friend, or whatever. Let me tell you something. Why they're ushering in the gate agenda. Because that's what they're trying to do. Everything that God has set in order, we want to turn it around. We want to flip it. They want chaos on earth. They want lawlessness. I'm telling you what God said. God said that we're in a system of Pharaoh. And he says it's like Sodom and Gomorrah. And just like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, y'all, he's getting ready to destroy this earth. Y'all already know that. And so my thing is, my mandate is to prepare you. And not to scare you. Not to be in fear. But for you to choose God, for you to stop playing, like they got this young lady, she on my heart. She on my heart. I can't say her name because she couldn't take this. She couldn't take this rebuke. But sister, I'm going to say something to you. Stop letting them pimp you. I, and, and I hope that she see this and she understand by the spirit of God. Stop letting the gospel community pimp you. You're better than that. You're doing a lot of stuff for money. And really, it ain't that much money. Sister, stop. Please stop. Stop while you can. Because I'm telling you everything. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm 50 years old, about to be 51 next month. I didn't live this life. Everything I ever did, trust me, I paid for. And you will too. Oh, every word that we ever speak, we're going to have to give account. Everything that we do, we have to give account. Nobody gets away with anything. That's why God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And I'm telling you right now. And, and, and if you're in some kind of sin... Or you're doing something you ain't got no business? Ask God to help you. Say, Jesus, I need you. I don't know how to get out of what I'm in. But Father God, I need you. You got to go to the Father. You ain't got to go to everybody. Because everybody ain't saved. As a matter of fact, he say, broad is the way that they do doing sin. He said, but it's a it's a small, narrow road for those that want me. That's those that want to serve me. Those that say yes. Those that sacrifice. This is sacrificial. That's why nobody ain't highly anointed these days. Because ain't nobody want to sacrifice. Oh, no, baby, I want to play. I want to do what I want to do behind closed doors. That's why you ain't got no anointing. Now, guess what? The world love its own. Y'all ain't y'all ain't ready for what I'm getting ready to say. Y'all wondering why that the anointed ones are not on mainstream? Because they won't let us. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they know just our voice. It is the anointing of God. It's going to cut some things. It's going to stop some things. It's going to anoint somebody. It's going to set somebody free in the name of Jesus. Ain't nobody playing. Because it ain't even us. It's the spirit of God that's in us. He said, I serve you. He said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, ain't nobody could stop the power of God, the presence of God, the anointing of God. The devil knows it. But what he's doing is he, he, he's, he, he's looking in your heart. He's seeing what really matters to you. You see, if you like money, he's going to bring you money. If you like men, he's going to bring you men. And some men like men. Why, oh, that's good, God. Thank you. You know why? They also, with the gay agenda, to strip the family apart. Take the order from God out of this earth. Oh, come on. Oh, they ain't ready for it. They ain't ready for it. I'm going to say it. I keep saying it for a reason. The, the man of sin that ushered in that spirit, my God, my God, a lot of you, y'all fell in love with him. Y'all going to cry when he come back on the scene. And that's a dust said the law. Y'all going to cry. He don't love us. Mm. If you knew who he was. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I can see in the spirit. I can see in the spirit. I'm not trying to say I'm all that. I'm telling you, if you knew who he was, and I challenge you to ask God. But if you ain't ready now, don't you ask God because that will scare you. He ain't, he ain't human. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Everybody in the elite got a clone but him. Oh, yeah, I said it. And some people don't like us talking about him. But I really don't care what you like. Because I'm going to say what God said to say. Hallelujah. We ain't got all that time left like y'all think. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm most scared. He said, be scared of the one that can that can make sure that your soul burn in hell. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All powers in God's hands. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray, my brothers and sisters, that you count the cost. That's what this life is about. Count the cost every day of your life. Ask God to forgive you in some sin because there, there's something in some area in our life that we sin, known and unknown. It could be a thought. It could be saying something we ain't got no business. You, you know we flesh. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And just because we saved, don't mean sometimes we don't get out there hallelujah 
Let's be honest. But my, my prayer tonight or this morning or even noon if you're somewhere, please count the cost. It's not worth going to hell. It's not worth going to hell. And like I say, if you're in any kind of sin, ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you and guide you. But you got to do your part too. Don't let this world fool y'all. It ain't about money. It ain't about honey. It ain't about funny. Because when them doors close, and I got to tell y'all what God said to me. And I, I know it's going to sound strange. I asked God one day. I said, God, have you ever had a bad day? He said, Deanna, I've never had a bad day. He said, but I will have one. I said, God, when? He said, when I got to cast people in hell. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. <laughs> when God said that, I literally began to cry. Because I felt it in the spirit. Y'all don't hear me. So I pray, I pray that every day you get closer to God. This world, stop being so worldly. Stop being so sexual. Stop with y'all mouth. Stop cussing. You shouldn't be cussing, saints. I'm not saying be perfect, but just give God your best. Just give God your best. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I don't care how much you want to pray it away. The end is near. Martial law is coming. New world order is coming. Prepare yourself, people. This is not a game. God, do not make me get on here at 1 o'clock in the morning to play games. Come on, somebody. And you should feel the power of the Holy Ghost because that's all I got. Paul says, silver, I have none. Gold, I have none. But what I do have you, I give you. Hallelujah to his name. And I, and right, you right, sis. This is about souls, you guys. It's about souls. And I'm going to be honest with you. Even I'm guilty. When I was in California, man, I used to evangelize all the time. I, people didn't like going to the store with me because I'd be in there two hours to say what does say. And even I. I said, God, give it back to me. Give me a heart for souls. You see, I'm transparent on purpose. Not just to tell y'all my business. To be transparent because so many preachers are not. And I pray for them too. Don't think I just talk about them. I pray for them. But they need to stop lying. They need to stop playing games. You know, Samson didn't even know that God had left him. That's where most church leaders are. Local, big time, Hollywood. They don't even know God that left them. I, I didn't, and, and hold on, I have to tell you something. They started with God, just like everybody in their Bible. You know how we start with God, even us. I mean, bro, when we first got saved, y'all remember how we was telling everybody about God, and, and we was going out evangelizing, and then all of a sudden, that's when the enemy comes. As a matter of fact, you hear babes say, soon as I turn to God, life got hard. Uh, yeah, because guess what? That's when the enemy say, oh, okay, then he starts assigning um, demons to you. And so now it start getting rough. Oh, oh, this walk, oh, you got to be gully. What does that mean? It's not ghetto. I say gully. You got to you gotta stand with tears in your eyes. You got to stand when people lie on you. You got to stand when you don't know how you're going to pay your bills sometime. You see, I don't know who lied to y'all and told y'all that it's all about money. And, and I saw another prophet on here. And I hope you, sir, catch me by the Holy Spirit because you see God ain't letting me say names lately. Stop lying to people. I saw you pimping people tonight or earlier today on that prophetic. So let me tell y'all something. Don't go after so much of the prophetic because a lot of people are pimping on here. And God going to get you. God going to get you. I say God going to get you pimping people. Oh, I saw you. I start to say something to you. But you see, there's some things God ain't letting me say right now because I'm going to tell you right now. God said, I got this. And, and you wouldn't rather me say something because when God got it, everybody going to know you dirty. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Nobody playing. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm going to get right back on here because I got to do another video. And, and I just, it's not to bash people and to, and I just got to say what does say the Lord. I have no choice. I am mandated. And that's to get it right. God says, hey, hey, who he loves, he chastens. Come, come on, somebody. I said Corinthians, he, 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 he loves us enough to tell us, get it right and stop playing. Stop playing. And let me ask y'all something. Do you really know when you when God going to call your number? That right there alone sh should let you. People are dropping like flies. And, and can I tell you what God told me? God said some of them, he's calling home because they, they ain't going to be able to take what's getting ready to come. That's why y'all seen a lot of people die and tell you the truth. And there are some of you, you will see it, said the Lord. You better ask God for some strength. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me, man. This is real. This ain't no game. Life is not, you know, and, and I know before I got saved, I really thought we were just living in the world and we do what we want and we have fun. 
Man, when I found out that, first of all, most of it was a lie, that they lied to us, that the whole system been a feral system, going to school, going to college, getting all that debt, going to work, working hard for hardly nothing. And I'm talking about you got these big houses you can't enjoy because you don't work all the time, took you away from the family. Hold on. You remember when just the man used to go to work and now, now both people got to go to work? So now the children, is, they, they raising the children. Then they're going to tell you that you can't hit your children. Oh, man, it's all a system. All a lie. So I pray that you just trust God. Just trust God. Just trust God. I don't care how hard it gets. Just trust God. Please don't leave him, y'all. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So God bless you. God keep you. So what does it mean when you can smell demons? Oh, honey. Nicole, I hope I'm saying your name right. What that means, my baby, is that actually you have a gift. Because not everybody can smell demons. And I don't want to be derogatory, so please excuse me. But it smells like it smells like a fart. You know, it smells, it's very, I mean, it, it stink. It stink. And, and, you know, I used to ask people, you did something? And they say no. And that's when I knew I was in the midst of a demon. But not only that, and again, not to sound derogatory, when you're in the midst of demons, I start spitting up. Because remember, it, the atmosphere is now tainted. But they can't stay long if you have the anointing. You know, um... One day soon, if you guys want, and, and go ahead and put in the um, comments or get on my page. I'm going to do a study and let y'all know more and more about demons. Excuse me. I got so much going on right now, but I'm getting back. Trust me. I'm getting back to what I need to do. It's just that God got me. He, he pulling me. And I know he's setting me up. It's not just for success. But actually, it's for the greatest fight of our life. And that is to, the church came in power. God said we're going out in power. Y'all, hallelujah. Oh, somebody stirring me up up in here. I can feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody pulling on my spirit. Let me tell you something. I see limbs growing, y'all. Hold on. Let me tell you about the apostolic anointing. I see limbs growing. I see blind eyes opening. I see dead people rising. Y'all, I'm not just saying that. God said that the power is coming back, but it need a pure people. You need to be pure. I didn't say perfect, but pure. God going to give it to the remnant. But you got to repent first. God said the whole church needs to be repent. I repent every day. So don't everything I tell y'all, it applies to me. I need y'all to know that. So please don't think, oh, she just, no, no, no. It replies to me first. Sometimes I cry like a baby because I'm like, God, you hit me in the head with that one. Because sometimes it pertain to me. So don't, don't, don't get it twisted. We all got to get it right. This thing ain't no game. I want to go to heaven. I don't know about you. I don't want to miss it. I can't. Hallelujah. So I pray, I pray, I pray that you guys understand what I'm saying and take it serious. And if you, anytime you have a question about what somebody's saying, as a matter of fact, you should question it. Go to God. Say, God, is what they're saying true? G g give me confirmation. Give me revelation, God. Please, it's not a game. So God bless you. I love you all by the, pride, by, by the power of God, by the spirit of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So roll out soldiers. For that is who you truly are. I'm getting ready to get back on here because I got to tell you another mandate. I can't put them together. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You are the end time soldiers of Jesus Christ. Walk like it, act like it, talk like it, and be like it. In Jesus' mighty name. Roll out soldiers.